What's good, Grey Gang? We're out here today. We're actually doing a fishing collab from like 600 miles away, but still. Now, I'm doing this with another YouTube fisherman. His name is First State Fishing. I'm sure y'all have heard of him, but the challenge we're doing is a three crazy lure challenge. So, I sent him three crazy lures, and he sent me three crazy lures. Our challenge for each other is to catch one fish on each of the baits, and, well, I guess just catch as many fish as possible. But I got his package in here. So, let's head on in here, open his package, and then we'll get right out there and try to hit the water. So, here in my hand is the package from First State Fishing. I'm just gonna dump it out, and you know, hey, let's see what's in it. So here's what we got right here. Well, well, dang. If y'all don't know already, First State Fishing is based in Delaware, which is close to the ocean or, well, salt water or whatever you want to call it. Here in Kentucky, where I'm from, there's like zero salt water. If you want salt water, you can go get a salt shaker and put it in a water bottle, but that's about it. And that's pushing it. But it seems like First State did send me some salt water lures. Here's what we got. So right here, Savage Gear. This is actually like a floating worm type thing. And I mean, yeah, it's just like a hollow worm. I'm sure we can catch a fish on those, but here's the different thing. Okay, so this right here, this is a shrimp. Now, to my knowledge, there's no shrimp in Kentucky, but it does sort of resemble a crawdad, you know. We'll see what the fish think. And then right here is probably gonna be the hardest one. It's this little reef runner cicada. Now, this is basically a little blade bait. Shouldn't have a too difficult time catching a fish on this, but this right here will probably be my biggest roadblock. Now, in the challenge rules, we never specified of what species, except for me, I'm gonna try to go with all three of them on a bass. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna catch a bass on all three, but I am gonna try. I guess now I'm just gonna pack all these up and put them right here in my pest fun bag, because the pond we're going to to, well, I mean, you can't necessarily just drive up to it. You gotta hike here. And the reason? Well, because of that right there. It's a pretty thick place. And that right there is the pond. Now, that's a fairly decent... Well, y'all still can't see it, but the pond is actually right over there. Here we go. Now, the first one I'm actually gonna be using is, I think, those little floating worm-like Cinco things. These right here? Yeah, I'm gonna use those first. I'm probably just gonna Texas rig them, like, weightless, or maybe wacky rig them weightless. But here we go anyways. I'm gonna just get one out, and then we'll rig it up and see what happens. So here it is. I got it Texas rigged weightless. I'm hoping to just throw it around some trees and, you know, work it like a fluke. But it is hollow, and it does float, so it may turn out to be just a solid plastic spook but we're gonna have to throw it out there and see now personally i've never used saltwater lures i've always you know thought about it but i mean i guess there's a first for everything and today will be my first and so here we go creeping up to the pond there's a nice little lay down tree right there i'm just gonna barely even toss it out there hey it actually sinks so it's not gonna be a top water spook or anything it's gonna almost be exactly like a sinko and i could get used to this for sure Oh my gosh, I've done caught a dang fish. That was my first real cast, and I've done caught a fish on this thing. That'll work, that'll work. Not a giant, but it is enough to say I've caught a bass on this thing. Now let's go switch it up to either that little uh, cicada or the shrimp. Next, we're moving on to this right here, a shrimp. Now this right here is what it looks like on the hook. I do have a feeling this is gonna be quite a bit harder than the little fluke-like deal for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a shrimp. Now I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think shrimp live in this pond. Number two, it's actually a clear bait, which means, you know, it doesn't have that much color to it. This pond has a little bit of color to it, which means clear is not necessarily the best color. On those flukes, it had silver and blue, which is a good color and will stand out in this water, but the clear, may just not stand out. And three, which I predict will be my biggest problem, is with this thing, it comes with a pretty heavy wire extra wide gap hook. Now, you know, that's not exactly a big problem, except for the fact that I'm using a medium action spinning reel. The reason that may be a problem is because with that spinning reel, I may not have enough power to really set the hook on that hook, but I mean, we're gonna go for it and try to catch one anyhow. If I can catch a bass on this shrimp, you might as well just go ahead and subscribe. Because, well, if you're still watching it this far into the video, you must like it. So go ahead and subscribe real quick. But here we go with the little shrimp. This actually looks pretty good in the water, not gonna lie. Guys. It doesn't sink too fast and actually whenever you just let it barely fall the bottom legs actually kick out and it just like glides down And whenever you reel it and pop it like this the back of the tail just sits there and flaps and waves just like that So it's it it honestly doesn't look that bad guys The only problem is that so far it's not really appealed to the bass It may appeal to like a flounder or maybe a snakehead or a tiger shark or whatever lives in salt water But not really appealing to these large mouth of Kentucky There he is. Oh, I got him. I got him Bro, what is this? Okay, it's a bass. That'll work. That'll work. He felt giant there for a second. Oh, yeah, I hooked him good right there in the top of the mouth. Right there, perfect placement. Again, not a monster bass, but a bass nonetheless. So now I'm done with two out of the three lures. I'm done with the fluke-looking outfit and that little shrimp. Now we just got to move on to the little cicada thing. Not gonna lie, guys. This shrimp lure, it actually took me quite a bit longer than I expected. But at least I caught one on it. Now we're moving on to the cicada. Now, guys... Uh, 
I know it's possible, but it's not gonna be easy. It's a really good size and color and imitates a little bait fish well, except it is an eighth ounce and I'm gonna have to be moving it pretty fast. Just, you know, keep it out of the grass. But that's why it's a challenge video. It's not supposed to be easy. So here we go. First little cast with the little cicada. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but what I'm thinking is it's like a, okay, yeah, it is. It's just like a blade bait. Whenever you hop it and pull it, it little vibrates thing. So it seems like the thing we're gonna, oh my gosh, I just had one go after it. I saw the weight. My plan is to just throw it out there and hop it all the way back, making short little vibrational pulses and hopefully want to find it. Hello, fishing right now. Why, squirrel hunting? After I catch one more fish, probably 10 minutes at most. Okay, bye. There he is. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I just completed the, oh my gosh. I said I was going to try to catch a bass. Hey, boys, I said I was going to try to catch a bass. I didn't say I'd catch a bass. I said I would try. So technically, I just completed the challenge. But there you go. Hey, boys, I just completed the challenge. Well, guys, if you're new to this channel, this is a good day to be watching. You're going to get a good taste of everything. This is honestly my favorite part about being, well, me. There is no set rule. And there's really no set agenda to my day. So today's plan was, yeah, let's go out. Let's do a little fishing channel with my boy first state fishing. And by the way, he is the first link in the description. Go ahead, subscribe if you're not already to him. So I'm out there fishing, having a great time. My cousin calls up, hey, bud, you want to go squirrel hunting? Heck yeah, I want to go squirrel hunting. Let's go. And so just like that, we go from fishing to hunting. That quick. Let's go kill some squirrels. And yeah. Just like that, now we're out here in the woods. I forgot my 870 at the house, so I'm using his 12 gauge. Well, one of his shotguns. Oh, what was that? They're right on top of us. But anyways, here we go. Bro, they're right up on us. I can hear them and we just got here. I'm putting the head game on. I'll see you whenever I shoot one. He's dead. Got him. There's more. Go, 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 go. Got him. You want me to put him in my vest? Well, we just got our first one. The limit is six per person. So we still got 11 to kill. You know, that's the plan. My plans usually don't work out though, but we've not been here very long either. What exactly happened right there? Well, I heard him cutting up on that tree, so he's halfway up. Heard him cutting again. Found a tree he was in. He eased up, listened for a second, pinpointed him out in that tree. Bam! And now he's in my vest. Got him. I'm out. Come on out, big boy. Where you at? Where you at, big boy? Where you at? There he is, there he is. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, guys, I did just kill one. And then I frightened two others. But in the process, I think I lost the one I killed. I shot him off that tree right there. And he came down here flying. Now the squirrel should be right over here. Because he was on that tree right there. And then I blew him off the side of it. He should be right in here. Well, guys, I've not had the best luck finding my squirrels this year. But here's what happened. Okay, so like he was sitting there. He was, he was just sitting there on a tree. So I shot him. He flew backwards and he went, wow. So, I mean, I don't know if he's just not dead at all or if he was maybe half dead whenever he hit the ground and crawled over 20 feet. I'm not exactly sure, but, like, he's not where he was supposed to be. He was supposed to be right there. And he's not. Like, bro, where'd he go? And, I mean, I'd say hunting four squirrels at once isn't helping my chances of remembering where I shot him exactly. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure I shot him right there. And I'm pretty sure he should be right there. But he's just not. I don't know. To be completely honest, it was probably just a piece of bark that flew off the back. I don't know. But at least I'm having fun. And the day's not completely over. So, we still have a chance to get maybe another squirrel or maybe... Maybe two if we're lucky. But yeah, we're just going to deem that squirrel the one that got away. He's coming down the tree. Probably should reload. Should I? Oh my gosh, there he is. There's a little heifer. How's it? Okay, now show yourself, buddy. There he is. Woo! Finally. Well, I mean, I saw him three times and I shot him three times. He waited till I shot my third shot. Then he came out on the side of the tree and just looked at me. A little heifer. But, you know, now he's dead and that's what he gets, big boy. That's what you get, big boy. Huh? What are you gonna do now? Now you're dead. Thanks to the Charles Daily 20 gauge. I've only got one shell left. You know, I seen some movement up in the leaf. I saw a piece of brown, so I shot it. And I missed it. Well, guys, I took the GoPro off because it's getting pretty dark and a little bit too dark for the GoPro. I looked over and there was a squirrel. I shot it. I missed. What are the odds? But, uh, yeah, now I'm going home with uh, zero shells left. I've done my duty. It's always a good day whenever you shot all your shells. Now I'm just a cameraman holding an empty gun. And that squirrel is still running around. And now I'm basically just support. I'm going to go make as much noise as possible and see if the squirrel will turn around to his side of the tree. And I'm going to talk loud now because I want the squirrel to hear me and run away from me. Run away, squirrel. Run away. Ah! 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 
<laughs> also a really good tactic is if you do have grapevines, sit there and shake them. Oh, 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 oh. You might as well. Go ahead and shoot it. Well, if it, if. Yeah, it wasn't a squirrel. Well, I guess we can just call this one the second one that got away. I mean, I shot at him. It just didn't hit him. I should have brought my air gun. I have 250 of them bullets. At least now we know that if I'm the last person on earth, the squirrel population will not go extinct. But I might. I probably will. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.